a good morning. Good morning, guys. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. Good morning, Penny Pickle. I have your medicine. I need to sh shoot it up your cheek this time so you don't bite my syringe. You good for it? Oh, sorry. Don't let me put it in your cheek. I'm a good girl. Oh, don't you bite it. Oh, you dirty dog. You devil girl. I have to tip, put the camera away to give her this medicine because she wants to bite it. Sophie's Good here. Good morning, guys. Whew. It is chilly today. Minus 11. There's your breakfast. Look at her. So much better with those ears. So much calmer. Here you go. This poopy pants pooping all over. This is mine. This is mine. This is the one I always use. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is the day before, the day before Christmas. This is the day before Christmas Eve. We're headed out early today. We have a lot of stuff to do. Christmas is supposed to be relaxing, but don't you guys find that you relax more after Christmas than, than at Christmas? Yeah, so we'll be relaxing it's starting like in two days. I ordered a dog toy for my dog. So proud of myself. Today? No. It should be coming back. Yeah, she ordered some stuff I'll from China. She paid extra. No, I didn't. I thought you paid for it to arrive early. No. Oh, okay. So it's supposed to be arriving today. She's hoping it comes. If you are Sophie's child or Sophie's dog or Sophie's horse, you should know that she will spend money on you. That is way too much. Yeah, that's good. My favorite part of Christmas is the part where we take a few moments to rest and relax and to say thank you. It's eating all the food and seeing who got me for Secret Santa. Really? You yeah. don't care about like all your Christmas presents? I was gonna say I was gonna say that, but I don't want people to think I'm greedy. Yeah, don't okay. be greedy. Don't be greedy. So my favorite thing about gifts are giving a gift. Like giving the gifts is my favorite Hi. thing. I have a huge pile of gifts for my grandkids up at the house and I'm excited for them to open them tomorrow but I love Christmas morning when I you guys love, open your presents. I also love Christmas morning when I don't have to brush my hair. I love spoiling my kids like I love it. The one time of the year where Sam doesn't freak out when I buy them stuff, Christmas. It's my favorite time. Also I love that everybody gets so like Christmas is such a relaxing day everybody gets so busy with all of their presents and their toys and then I get to go around and clean up and I love it like I love cleaning but, and organizing I have no time to do it which is why our house is always messy but it is my passion it is my thing it is the one thing I love to do and on Christmas I love helping them set up their stuff and organizing it so this is how it's gonna go okay I want that to open you so it's gonna be dad opening a gift for me you open the gift, opening gift for me. And then you're all good? It's all about you? Yep. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. What about the dog? I was gonna, oh yeah, my dog has to go first. All right, I'm walking my penny out. Look at how good she is. She's the patientest horse. So patient, most patient horse. But I would like her to just stand here in this section because she always feels a bit spooky. And I want her to like, see, it's just like, it's no, all it good. It's hay, it's all good. All right, let's walk on. Wait, I wanna give her a kiss. All right, whoa. Hi, Penny. You have to hold her face. Like, not hold her face, but hold her. She will kiss you. Look how calm she looks. Okay, Does walk on. Walk on. Good girl. We do a nice big twirl. Good girl. Literally the most calm horse of life. Love this girl. So, I love, like, I cannot wait for spring. Cannot wait for spring when Penny and I rule the world. Because we are going to rule the world. We're hopefully, we're gonna hopefully rule the world. We're gonna maybe rule the world this spring. At least by summer, we're gonna half rule the world. It's already getting warmer, or at least I feel hot, because of all the work cleaning the stalls. Sophie and I had to do, Sophie and I had to do it all, you guys. Gabby it was gets, actually faster without Gabby. Yeah, it was better without Gabby. <gasps> I don't know why. Like, I think we're at the stage now. But then I don't complain. Like, she has to do this. She has to do this. Yeah. She has to do this. You can control that, Sophie. You can just not do that when she's here. Well. It's like a competition over who can be the laziest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's have a competition who can do the most. Um, Anyways. Well, well, yeah. We need new pylons. 
Molly is a pylon killer. Well, then Molly cannot talk. Anyway, um, we are headed to the barn in just a little bit. We're going to pick up Gabby, go to the barn, do a ride, check storm over. If you guys didn't hear what happened to storm yesterday, quite the home. fiasco. And when we come home, hopefully my package is here. I mean, I kind of wish I had video footage of what happened, but I'm also really glad I don't because, oh, my heart. I love that boy so much. Okay, so I'm picking up Gabby at Kaylee's house. And, oh, she's already here. Um, but do you guys remember the times where I used to have to go up and knock on people's doors? Yeah, like you used to have to go knock on people's doors and be like, hey, I'm here. Oh, it's her dad coming out. But now you just park in their driveway and text the person, text, text your kids. All right, we're at the barn. We got Gabby with us. We just picked her up. Is this, did you pack this outfit fresh? Mm -hmm. You wore it the other yesterday, so you're wearing it. Okay. That's what happens at sleepovers. You never ask what happens at sleepovers. What happens at sleepovers? I had no room in my backpack for anything else. Oh, yeah. That's a good plan. Okay. So, um, everybody wants to know, in your words, what actually happened with Storm yesterday? They <laughs> ran away, and I was walking to catch them while everybody <laughs> else was running. Like, Kaylee was running with them, because she was the only one who could run with the horse. Yeah. So, dying? Mm-hmm. Um... And then Kaylee caught him and then the other girl dismounted and Paige was over there holding both the horses. Like when you got back, was she still there holding yeah. the horses? Oh, good job, Paige. So Paige stayed home to hold down the fort. Were you shocked? Like when you came out of the barn, were you shocked he started walking away? No. He You're walks away from me. Did you think that it was going to go on a merry goose chase? No. You should have wore the GoPro. It would have been really good. I hate the GoPro. I know, Gabby does hate the GoPro. She doesn't like it on her helmet. Gabby's role in the whole thing was just walking down the road, rock, walking down the highway, right? How many cars did you pass? Not a lot. Did he, was he stopping traffic? People were stopping for him? Both sides. Oh my well, gosh. at least that's good. Yeah, that's good. So, Kaylee saved the day. Like, I'm so proud of her. I can't believe she did that. Well, last time I did, though. Last time you saved but the day? But we weren't running on the road. Because Mike fell off of Oakley, and then I had to run after Oakley. Yeah, yeah so awesome. this is not the first time that this has happened, you guys. Gabby and Kaylee are, are seasoned savers, say, horse savers. Uh, I think I told you guys, I can't remember, but a few, like a couple of months ago, um, Kaylee's dad wanted to go on a trail ride, so they went on a trail ride with Kaylee's dad, and he rode Oakley. And the girls like to, can't, like to gallop, so... Gabby and Kaylee both galloped off with their horses and then Oakley was like, I'm gonna gallop too. And her dad is like the same kind of level of rider as me. And he was like, yeah, I'm galloping. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh darn, I'm not galloping now, I'm falling. And he fell over Oakley's shoulder and oh, and he this was on the ground and Oakley went flying by Gabby and Kaylee. Did he go flying by you guys? Went flying by Gabby and Kaylee. And it took them seconds, Gabby said, uh, Kaylee said, "You, I'm going back to check my dad. You get Oakley. So Gabby went flying off with Chino to get Oakley. And Kaylee went back, checked on her dad. And her dad was okay. And then she took off and they caught Oakley. Who caught Oakley? Gabby caught Oakley. How far did he get? So I had to trot Chino down the side of the road and dismount on the wrong side. Oh, wait. No, I think I dismounted on the correct side very quickly. And I almost had to leave my horse. But then I thought that he would run away, too. Yeah. So I had to we, hold him and yeah. drag him while I was trying to run to catch him. Yeah. So they are seasoned horse savers. It's not hey. the first time. Probably won't be the last time. And Hopefully then, it's the last time with Storm. And then... Not Finn. And then... Um, yeah, Finn would never I do that. I just turned around and Kaylee was there. I was like, oh. Wish I had a bow, but I'm a last minute Lucy. I don't even have a card. I just wrote on the back of the gift cards. So there's our little present. I'm going to leave it in the food room, in the feed room. The kids are always leaving me behind. Get it together, Laura. Be organized. They're over here? They're over here? Yeah, we found Finn. Lucino and Oakley are sharing the water. Aww. Because Oakley is sweet now. Why? Oakley. Why Oakley is a savior. Well, come on with me, Mom. Okay, I'm coming. Storm likes to do his let's run for it about every couple weeks, so I feel like we're we're good today. So if he's gonna ride, Finny boy. Finn doesn't even know we're coming yet. Oh, he was staring. Oh, he's staring at us now. They're all staring. Who's who? Who are you taking? They're like, who are you coming for? I gotta check Storm out too, though. Are you ready for a ride today? I told me that I'm 
This is a, you're getting four days off after this. What do you think of that? Here, you want a treat? Just yeah. wait, let me give him a treat so he at least thinks of no. positive things. Uh-oh. I don't like you. Please. Yeah. All the horses are like, you said treat. They all know the word. Don't even think of putting on a show today, Mr. Magoo. Hello. I'd like to check your legs and feel your, your feet because you are a devil. Let me see. Well, it's hard to tell if there's any heat out here, boy. I think he's probably okay. He's like, yes, rub my legs. Text us like it was all him. Let me just see if this is causing no snow, no nothing between these. These actually turned out to be pretty good. They're nice and big. They stretched out quite a bit. All right. All right, Stormy, you seem okay. Did you have a good, were you scared yesterday? He's like, just leave me, don't take me. All right, see you later. Oh, we'll be back out in a few minutes because we brought you a Christmas treat, so don't go anywhere, okay? Yeah, we just lunged Chino and said he's lame. <sighs> so he's gonna have to get his shoes back on. Oh, I'm gonna use this ribbon. I could use this ribbon to tie around their present. And maybe some of that um, stuff and make it look pretty. Yeah. All right, so we also brought Charlotte, somebody named Charlotte, ordered all of these for us from, do you remember who it's from? From the Equine Bakery. Okay, oh, all these nice. amazing treats. And we brought them today. Hey, Christmas, Finny. It's like, I'll just eat I'm that. Try it the other way, so we can a photo of it. Yeah, let's get a photo of it. There we go. Mmm. Is that good? He like, when they stop and they like, wow. I was so happy that I didn't ride them. Yesterday? Mm-hmm. Right. It's amazing to give out these treats. Let's wait, let me get the picture. Oh, <laughs> He's like, yes, that's all for me. Yeah. We also have all their initials and some Christmas candies, but I think we're going to save these for another day. Can try it, candy? No, these are going to be saved for another well, day. Well, I'm going to get the blue candy because he's, his color's blue. All right, so that is, that. so I put a ribbon around it. All right, so we're going to go out and give Chino his, this is going to be like the first time I ever came to the barn and didn't ride. Oh, we're going to give Stormy Boy his treat. All right, are you mad at him? No. Are you mad at him for what he did though? No. Can't be mad at them. He's like, just let him finish the hay and then we'll give him the treat. Look, Storm. Look. He has to smell first. He's like, I will bite that. Break it too. Oh, that's a hard cookie. He's not breaking it. Oh, there he goes. Wait, let's see. Does he like it? Oakley's like, I don't like it. Oh, look at that. Oakley like, Oakley's like, let me smell your breath. There's a piece. There's a piece, Oakley. Merry Christmas. Texas jealous now, too. Yeah, uh-oh. Oh, look at how cute his hit name looks now. Look how beautiful his fur is, actually. I'm sorry you're lame, Chino Bambino. We're going to get the farrier come soon after Christmas, after the new year, and we'll get your shoes back on. You're getting extra love today. All right, horses are going back out. Say goodbye. Goodbye and Merry Christmas. We love you. Chino will be fixing you up. So I want to show you what Kaylee got me. First of all, I got a Starbucks gift card. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because she said you can't have whatever's in here without getting Starbucks first. And no strips. A face mask. I used it last night, but not all of it. Deep pores. Yep. You think Kaylee thinks she got deep pores? No, because she wants to want. She knows that I want a face mask that hurts. So she thought it hurt. We got the normal face masks that you just put on your face. They come with the mask already. Yeah, I got two of them. And skills. Ooh, she knows you. Uh, Kaylee knows Gabby. That's for sure. Super cool. I love the Starbucks gift card the best. So I came home, dropped the girls off, changed my coat and my boots, grabbed a snack, 
and I wanted to show you guys some things. Now we are headed, Sam and I are headed someplace to finish our Christmas plans, to finish our Christmas responsibilities. I wanted to show you guys, but Sam hid them. Okay, so Sam, remember the other day I was telling you guys, like, Sam would just buy the stupid stuff because it's cheap. Like, he, if, if this is a dollar on it, he would buy it. Even if it's something like, like mouse food. If it's like mouse food, even though we don't even have any pet mice, like you buy it if it's like a good deal. So he comes home with this box. All right, maybe not mouse food, but I was trying to think of something like, like the stupidest stuff. He buy it just because it's a good deal. So today he comes home, which I'm proud of him. I love when he goes out shopping and he like looks for deals and he buys stuff. But he comes home with this box of juice stuff. Like it's the sugar-free stuff that you put in water to make it taste good. I drink that stuff. And so he came home with a case of it. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I opened it up, grape flavor. Grape flavor is like the most god awful thing I've ever tasted in my life. And he brought it, yeah, he brought it home for me, but that was kind of him, mostly, <laughs> we tried it. So he's like, just give it to Stacy. <laughs> Stacy's my daughter-in-law, but anyway. So now, we are headed out to take this beautiful girl for her Christmas groom, right? Right, Ruby? You ready to go? So every year before Christmas, we take our dogs to get groomed if they need to get groomed. But you know what's weird? Does this happen to you? We've been spending like the last two weeks getting ready for one day. Like it's all like it's not like the world is gonna shut down after Christmas. But yeah, actually, <laughs> it's like the world is gonna shut down after Christmas. All right, are you guys ready to see the new Ruby? I like it. The only thing that Sam took her in, and the only thing I don't like that they did is they took all the hair off of her face, and she's a golden doodle. Golden doodles have hair on their face. I'm gonna show you guys her when she meets the dogs again. Molly's like, what is this beautiful new girl? Sit down there, Molly, Ruby. This is what coming home to three dogs is like, sit. <laughs> she says, she's like, oh, it feels so good. Uh oh, look like your dog tried to hump her. No, she's sniffing her. Oh, they're all sniffing her. Look at what's happening. <laughs> You're all fresh and new. Good girl. She's, she smells amazing. She's soft. I smell like coconut. You smell like coconut? So does she. We're coming, ponies. It's too late. Everything's closed. It's the end of the vlog you guys we're home and we are home now for the next 28 days actually that's not true we are going to be going at the barn and seeing our horses going to the barn but we but this is this is our christmas eve like you guys are watching this on christmas eve and we want to give our horse their ponies i mean their treats hold on Who's eyes shaped no we got to bring them in it's too dark wait 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 the door's not even closed so. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, good lord, Gabby! No, Sophia! Don't be mean to her. Just hold on to her while Gracie figures Sophia. it out. The Gabby and Sophie messed up my video. Sophia, hold her. Gracie's my pony. I can grab her. You no, it's okay. Really can. Look at how calm my pony is, though. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. Just let her go now. She's. <laughs> You're such a perfect pony. No, your daughter, your daughter ruined it for us. Your daughter ruined us. Merry Christmas, Gracie. It's gonna be Christmas Eve tomorrow, and you're getting a Christmas cookie. <laughs> She's like, it's worth it, even though they were, even though it was a mess of it. <laughs> Gabby, we did not plan that well. All right. Merry Christmas! <laughs> she can't break it. Yeah, that's, really hard. <laughs> that's inventive. Which is really solid. Yeah, she does that with apples. That's so cool. She does that with apples, and then just like drench it all around. <laughs> right, Penny Pickle. Hi. Hi, Penny. Take a bite. Do you like it? Wait, wait, I have my mouth full. The only one that does not. Are you the only one that doesn't like these treats? Can I do it? Oh, she's in her grain. 
Can I give it to her? Mm -hmm. Watch your drain. Oh. <laughs> she got a hole? Hold it. Oh. She might not be able to eat it. Willow's hard She's trying to break it too. The horses are so smart. I've never actually seen them do that before. Oh, look at those. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty yummy, huh? Good girl. Oh. Alright, I gotta get it out. My belly is churning. Good girl. Did you like it? Alright, so we are headed up to the house tomorrow at noon. Today at noon, while you guys are watching this, is when our Chris family Christmas is. I have a lot of fun things planned. I'm excited. I'm excited for all of you guys to have Christmas. And for even you guys that don't celebrate Christmas, I wish you an awesome, amazing day. But from our family to yours, I know it's only Christmas Eve, but we want to say... Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas guys! Don't you know that you're beautiful?